Hello. Good day, everyone. Today, I'm going to show you a short tutorial on how to access Phoenix Classroom, open Students Vault, and upload a file on it. So let's start. If you have opened your browser, type in gems.ae. Search, and this will flash on your screen. From these, you have to choose the Phoenix Classroom icon and click on it. And a sign in login account will prompt on your screen. So you have to use your old My Learning account. They work the same. So I have already put mine and I click on sign in. Now I have my Phoenix Classroom home menu. So this is all we're going to prompt in your screen once you logged in. On the left side, here in the purple side, you can see here the different features of the Phoenix Classroom. Today, I'll be showing you how to open the student vault and upload the file. Other features will follow next video. So click on student vault. And you can see already your students in here set for you by our school. Thanks to Ms. Ansu, these students, name of your students are synced already to your Sims. So I will click one of my students here, Abdallah. Now on the right side of your screen, you can see here a button, add new. From there, click on it. You may either upload a folder or a file. Now we are just going to upload file, a report. So click on file. Clicking on the file, you will have two options, drag and drop files and browse. I'll show you both. First, I will have the browse. I click on the browse. Now it will direct it to my computer. I have set already my computer, all the reports in there. So I'll be clicking on Abdallah's name. After that, I'll click on open. Then it will be loaded here. After loading, you may click on upload. Once you click on upload, it will directly upload it to your student's fault. Another way is through drag and drop. So from here, you open your folder and from your folder, look for that student's name. Okay, then drag on that file on here with this arrow and release. Then it will also be loaded. Once it is loaded, you can click on upload. Again, it will be directly uploaded to your student's fault. That is how it's going to be. I hope this video helps. Till next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye.